Hey guys, what's up? This is Yash and welcome to a brand new video on channel and today in this video I'm going to show you 10 plus tips and tricks for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. So let's get started. Okay, so tip number one is the three finger screenshot. So for this, just swipe your three fingers down anywhere on the screen like this. And again guys, if you are doing it for first time, it will tell you to enable it. So after enabling it, just swipe your three fingers down and it will take the screenshot like this. Okay, so tip number two is the right to left text RTL mode. So for this, first go to these settings and here go to additional settings and again guys enable the developer to get this developer option and now swipe down and enable the force RTL layout direction and after enabling it as you can see here the layout of the screen has shifted to right side and also the home screen starts from the left side as you can see here so it is a very useful feature for lefties okay so tip number three is the pocket mode so to enable this feature first go to the settings and here go to lock screen and password and swipe to the bottom and enable the pocket mode and now the proximity sensor will detect that whether your phone is in your pocket or not and when it detects that your phone is in your pocket it will prevent it from accidental touches and also guys if you accidentally unlocked your phone when it's in your pocket with your fingerprint it will automatically lock it again okay so tip number four is the toggling positions of notification bar icons so for this first go to the settings and here go to notification and status bar and select toggle positions and now let's say if I want this rotative option in place of silent I will just long tap it and drag it towards silent like this and now as you can see here on notification bar the rotative icon is in its place okay so tip number five is again for the notification bar so again go to notification and status bar and here enable this collapse after touch so let me just tell you, if this feature is disabled and you perform any activity on the notification bar, you have to collapse it or minimize the notification bar manually by swapping up your finger like this. But if you enable this feature, it will collapse the notification bar automatically. So if you want, you can save your one second. Okay, so tip number six is the engineering mode. So for this, first go to the settings and go to about phone. And here, keep tapping on kernel version and it will take you to the hardware test so basically from here you can know every single thing about your phone and also let's say if you're buying a second hand phone you can check its hardware parts are really working or not so it's very useful when you purchase a second hand phone or if you want to know that your mobile hardware parts are really working or not okay so tip number seven is the headphone remote buttons so for this first go to the settings and here go to sound and vibration and a swipe to the bottom and select audio settings and here select headphone remote buttons so if your headphones have volume buttons you can control the volume level but as well as you can control the music playback by selecting this option okay so tip number eight is force closing apps with back button so we usually force close the app by going through settings apps and then selecting an app and then we force close the app so instead of doing this big process you can just force close the app with the back button but you have to enable it so to enable it first go to the settings and then go to additional settings and here go to buttons and here select back button and select close current app and now let's say if i want to force close this app i will just long press the back button and it will force close it instantly like this okay so tip number nine is adding timestamp in photo so for this go to camera modes and then select the settings icon and here enable add timestamp in photo and now let's take a photo without stamp and with stamp so this is how a photo looks with stamp and this is how a photo looks without stamp okay so tip number 10 is double tap to wake the screen so for this first go to the settings and here go to display and enable the double tap to wake feature and again guys many have asked me about this feature for redmi 3s prime when i have made redmi 3s prime tips and tricks video so this redmi 3s prime does not has this feature maybe because it only has 5 inch display anyways let's continue so after enabling this feature so as you know guys this redmi note 4 has fingerprint scan at the back so it's difficult to access the fingerprint scanner when phone is placed down like this 
So at that time you can double tap on screen like this and you can access the phone. Ok so tip number 11 is placing note on home screen. So for this first go to the default note app which you get pre-installed and here add a note, write it and now let's say if I have to place this note on my home screen I will just select these three dots at the right corner and select place on home screen. So as you can see here my note is placed on my home screen. So it is a very useful feature when you have to remember something important. You can make a note and place it on your home screen and whenever you access your phone it will remind you. Ok so this is it guys if you like this video please give this video a big thumbs up and all the product links will be in the description you can check that out. And also guys do share thoughts about this video in comment section and subscribe to my channel if you are new and thanks to watching unbox extinction and I will see you guys in my next video.